Have you ever been watching something and thought, damn, they are making my boy struggle? That's what we're talking about today. Characters that suffered and that deserve so much better. First and personally, my favorite, Rick Grimes. My man had everything. He had a wife, kid, nice house, good job, and his best friend. What more does a man really need? Apparently, the bubonic plague on steroids. My boy wakes up after being shot and just civilization has crashed and went down the shitter. And honestly, that in itself is pretty bad because let's be real, you and me, we wouldn't do so well without our Netflix, without our modern commodities. If I had to go out there and forge for my food, I am going feral real quick rick heads to atlanta because of rumors that atlanta is a safe haven and then he quickly realized someone lied on their Thames. this shit is crawling with tweakers and before he's 12 like the last ps5 on black friday he's saved by glenn remember this man glenn takes him to his camp which conveniently has his family and his best friend he figures out his friend saved his family but at the cost of his friend boning his wife and basically taking his son yeah rick kind of got sneak out here fast forward a little little bit they end up crashing out about this because my man shane could not let go of that puss rick ends up having to kill his lifelong best friend with his own hands who then comes back as a zombie and then his son carl has to finish him off skip ahead a little bit more he figures out his wife is pregnant and then does the math and realize that this is probably his best friend's child she gives birth but also dies in the process because without modern commodities pregnancy is a very dangerous thing rick Rick figures out the birth went well but his wife is dead and his 13 year old son was the one that had to finish her off he goes to at least identify the body and then sees nothing but a puddle of blood after a walker ate the entire body you remember glenn yeah he gets put on a t-shirt after negan plays whack-a-mole with his brain matter which is a very traumatizing event for him since it was kind of rick's fault and then not too long after the only blood related thing still walking this earth alive his son dies and this is all this man has went through just in the eight seasons because after his son died i honestly had to put the show down because that shit hurt my soul honestly whoever wrote this show just seen rick and was like yeah i got another one in me we finna make this man suffer yuji itadori now even though my man's was blessed with extraordinary natural strength and he's just overall built different and really just a good guy he dealt the unlucky stick of eating one of sukuna's fingers which automatically in the jujutsu kaisen verse put this man at the top op position now to skip ahead a little bit itadori is finding a curse called mojito he can transform humans into mutations and make them fight whoever he wants but the thing is those are innocent humans and itadori is forced to kill them which would weigh really hard on anyone's consciousness on top of that a kid he was making friends with gets turned into one and dies right in front of his eyes and while he's processing the most traumatic event of his life thus far the nigga that did it in sukuna are just sitting there laughing at this man and to make it worse a little bit later on he also kills another friend and fellow sorcerer right in front of his eyes then in that same day it kills a role model figure in his life that was also another sorcerer right in front of his eyes again just to be mocked by the guy that did it mahito in front of his face with itadori being knocked out the villains feed him more of Sukuna's fingers so he can take control. Sukuna then proceeds to go on a complete rampage throughout the entire city. After the rampage is over, he swaps back with him just so he can see all the carnage caused and this man goes into a complete fucking breakdown because he feels worthless. This is nothing a 15 year old child to experience bruh. Let this man live a normal happy life. Let that man go watch Adventure Time and regular show bro. This is not right. And just to throw this in, Jugo is a villain but but he didn't deserve some of the treatment he got even though he has definitely done bad things every time jugo has went out to fight besides literally once he has been mopped by the two strongest niggas in the entire verse the first time he gets completely disrespected by gojo and then the second time sukuna literally uses this nigga's own flame technique against him and still washes this nigga but at least he let him die in a little bit happier way peter parker i don't know where to start let's just start off with the stress of being spider-man and peter parker at the same time weighs a lot on this man he's trying to maintain relationships jobs school at the same time while literally trying to save the city he 
lives in and sometimes even the world and on top of that with multiverse theory he's sometimes saving the universe and on top of that we learn that it's a canon event for his loved ones to die whether it's aunt may ben or his girl and that's just fuck imagine figuring out that through every conceivable timeline of you that you exist you are gonna suffer a major loss of someone you love that is so fuck i couldn't possibly cover every single timeline of peter parker but just to cover andrew garfield's peter parker he literally kills the woman that he loves by trying to save her it was unintentional but it was still done by his hands and he witnessed it if that's not the most traumatizing and fucked up shit any man could experience i don't know what is well besides that one guy